We're almost ready to be able to do homework five. The last bit that we need to learn is about mutable in, in environments and how they are represented in homework five util. So that's the library that accompanies your homework five. Uh, and we'll learn how to do that today. So in summary, the operations that we need to implement are two constructors, or sorry, three constructors and uh, an accessor or a selector. Uh, constructors are, we need to start from an empty environment. Um, so we need to have some way of representing the empty environment. And then we need to have two operations, as you might recall, the put if we want to overwrite an existing variable, um, which internally should call the frame put. And then a push operation that should allocate a new environment and extend an existing one. So it takes E1, extends it with the variable X assigned to V, and um, initializes a new frame with that information and puts that in E2, the environment E2. Finally, we need to define environment lookup, which we haven't defined, but we talked about it informally, which just goes up the tree of, uh, or the, the list of ancestors, tries to look up a variable on each frame, and then goes up to the parent of that frame, looks up there, if it doesn't find it, continues. And we need to implement all of these operations. Um, so to give you some examples, I'll just give you uh, a motivating example, which is that figure that we looked at. How would we represent with the notation that we defined? So we have these three operations. So how would we define it? We would, let's say we start with a root environment, uh, an empty environment that is E0. One way of creating this image is first we do a put and assign three to X, and then we assign Y, and these two operations could be replaced, done in reverse order, we would still work. Then what we need to do, we want to create handle one. So we do that with a push operation. So the push operation is initializing and creating this link E0 to handle one connects to E0 this way. Plus Z is initialized with, with six. And I also want to add the binding of X to seven. We do that with a put. And if we want to create this connection from here to here, we do a push, connect the new frame to the parent frame. E0 and add M1, could have also initialized with Y2, and then we add the remaining binding, which in this case is Y assigned to 2. So this is one way of recreating um, the figure on the left using the notation I just introduced, put, put, push, put, push, put. So let's try to implement uh, all of these. Okay, so how do we represent? Um, so in the next video, I'm going to open up the editor and then we're going to start programming uh, allocation and then put and then push and finally look up. So let's pause now.